Hello everyone, this is Prashant and welcome to the channel. So this is the ninth uh, video in this series. So it's been very long for this video. Actually in this video I covered the framework setup. Like in the Python request using PyTest, how can we divide the framework? Where we can keep in the APIs? Where we uh, run the execution? Where we see the reports? Where we store the test data? Everything we'll see here. So in this I showed a get request using this framework. In the next video, I'm going to uh, provide the post post request and delete request as well uh, together to how to implement it. Okay. So in this, we are going to see the folder structure. So I'm going to show one by one thing. So first one is the requirement. So basically, I, I give very uh, minimal requirements like we should have the pytest, request and pytest HTML. So this three libraries we should install in our system. Okay. So that file name is called requirements dot txt file okay and in this i'm going to give you the command which we need to run before going to start the execution because that command every time it will read the requirements from this file and it will install in our system okay next one so this is confessed file so this is a basic file. this is the initial file from here only the execution will start every time okay so confess that py file so in this i have two things one is how the report should generate okay so where it need to be stored okay so in the repo reports folder in the format of year month date hour minute second it will create a file every time new file and store inside the reports folder okay then in this this is the session start here i didn't give any setup yet in your office projects is any prerequisites like creating a token so there are some things we should create under this so the yield stands for after method this is before method okay so this is the two simple things i have it okay so this is hook implementation is this is if it true means it will implement every time okay one is report another one is the fixture scope session okay so if you want to know better PyTest means right now I'm doing one series in APM. So in the in that one, I will cover all the basic things of PyTest. So in this, you can see the simpler way. Okay. And I'm going to give you the code in the, uh, the like document. I will attach the descriptions. Once you end this video, you can go and see that report. Okay. Then after that confess file next one is pytest init file so this is a basic configuration in this what are things we need to give us always we need to provide the disable the warringness suppose it didn't have any default report means this will take the reports okay so, like self-contained estimate report and this is maximum file is how much how many files suppose you're running a test cases like 100 test cases if everything is fails now you don't want to run it so right now I'm given three. If more than three means it will stop the run. It won't run. Okay. So next one is utils file. So in this utils file, what we're going to go is like we need to create a get method, post method, put method, delete method. So you don't need to create a get method every time. Simply you want to pass the endpoint. The base URL will be available in the app client class. So after that the endpoint, after the base url whatever the endpoint is you need to pass while calling the get method and in your project any default headers means you can simply add the headers mm -hmm. in this help headers so uh, in this testing url i don't have much headers but in real time projects we will have a quite a bit of eight to nine headers or at minimum three to four headers okay so those things we can give in headers that you can pass in the url with the URL. So in the get, get request, it will provide the response. Okay. Similarly, and tom tomorrow I'm going to show the post request, put request and delete request as well. Okay. Next. So in the test folder only, we are going to write a test script. Okay. So now we will see, see the one test script. Okay. So in this, I'm going to use the module of scope as a module. So in this, I'm going to create call the class, which class? In the API client, we have a API client class, right? So that class, it will return the object. Okay. So in the API client, I'm calling the get method. We have a get method, right? 
in this i want to pass the end point so i'm passing the end point as user this is the end point for me okay this will call the method with this url and it will hit the base url plus end point and it will provide me the response so in test case what i will do simply i will check the response code is coming as 200 or not and in the response json this what is this response json is it will give the body of the response i will show you in the output that time you will see it okay so it will verify the response is more than a length is zero okay so here i'm going to call it the length of the json if it's greater than zero means the assertion got pass so i have two assertion in this one is to verify the request have 200 status code and the length of the response body is more than a zero so this is my test case okay then in the reports reports folder i said earlier it will show the reports hyphen date month day minutes and hour minute and second in the html so it will create a new new reports whenever we are running this file okay next one is data so data i have test data so uh, for the get request we do as everyone know we don't need a body so when tomorrow i will create a another post request file with a body in the request so at that time i will use this test data file so right now it's an empty file okay so in tomorrow's video i'm going to share with you okay so i'm going to run this one okay so to run the script simply you want to call as a hyphen s pytest hyphen s but i didn't print anything so to show you what is going to be in the response body i'm going to give response dot json so right now it will print the body as well so one is it will find the print the response body and it will do the validation as 200 then it will verify the length of the json is more than a zero okay so i'm going to run this see this so the test script got passed see this the new file has been test file has been generated okay then this is the response which it is generated right now okay and the status status code is 200 and all the assertions got passed so that's why it's showing a pass status take an example i'm giving a status code as a 400 take an example 400 so right now i'm going to run it so before that i'm going to clear the output screen so i'm going to run this see this it got failed why because the assertion is 200 and 400 so you are expecting the 400 but the response code which the code get is 200 that's why it got failure so i'm changing 200 here suppose i'm giving a some invalid path so right now what will happen when i run it so it will fail because 404 so everyone knows 404 is data for the client side issue data not bound okay so the url is wrong so if i run again it will pass this time okay cool right so in tomorrow's video i'm going to show you the post request how to add in the framework um, how to going to run in the another video i'm going to add this project in the git okay and i will share the github that link with everyone then i'm going to create a github action that is a cicd okay in the github actions it will run every day like suppose every day morning i want to run that regression means i will configure that github action in that manner so in the cron jobs it will run every day seven o'clock so you also copy the same code and implement in your projects with the minimal change like the endpoints the test cases the number of services okay so before that i'm going to show you one report okay so i'm going to open with the open see this it is open in the default browser it is a previous got failed suppose i want to open the another report with the past okay see this is the path so previous one is the failed reports it have a clear picture like what the response okay so thanks for watching so we'll see in the tomorrow's video i will cover the 
9th video and 10th video this is 9th right 10 and 11 12 i will plan according to this okay so thanks for watching if you like the video please like and share to your friends